where we are joined by Mickey X for our brand new segment, The Weave Corner, where we'll be discussing the latest episode of Kometsu no Ya. Never mind, I've been told we're canceling the Weeb Corner. We're here for Rogue versus G2. <laughs> weird that that's what we're going to focus on. Yeah, but, super uh, weird. Seemingly appropriate. With three we... anime experts. I I'm know, surprised it's that really we talk about this is where they let us that. focus. But I guess that's what we're on. Uh, Mickey, before we talk about anything else, quick hits on the last game. It was a banger fight in bot lane at level one. How are you feeling about that match? <laughs> um, I mean, I feel pretty good about the match. I felt like we played more aggressive, so that was nice to see. Um, I mean, yeah, two v two bot lane. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were trying to do when they have cleanse and we have heal, and Leona's pretty strong. Um, but I made sure to like counteract their grief with my grief by just getting hit by Jin W. So like, because <laughs> I was just like saying like, okay, a rail just died. He could be like anywhere in the map. He has like a uh, tempo, and then I just yeah, I just ate a W in my face. But in theory, like Patrick should have blocked it, so it's kind of on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Mickey, Mickey, you know we love narratives, okay? Yeah. So yeah. we like to believe that every time you play against Hillasang, there's like something inside you that you know you just level up because you're both veteran supports. You can now confirm for us that that is in fact true, right? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Maybe sometimes God he damn it, Mickey. It a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes he plays against me. He just like I don't know. He just wants to give me the win. And today was one of those days where he wanted to give me the win, and I appreciate it. I'm uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. Thank you. <laughs> All right, a little felt a little disrespectful. With respect to you, you did get the win. Uh, now focusing ahead to the match in front of us. Before we get into the nitty gritty, this is for you, audience. Let us know at home who you think will win. Head over to Discord.lec.gg and vote for Rogue or G2. Right now, we'll keep a look on that. We'll keep an eye on, keep a look on, keep an eye on that poll as we go later. I would love, Mickey, to get your thoughts uh, on this week and past week rogue compositions. We spoke on Euphoria earlier this week about how good you think their drafts are. I'd love to hear some of the specifics with some of the examples that we have. Um, yeah, the problem is I can't really see uh, oh. the screen. Well, but, that's fine. You know, I'll give you the summary. I'll uh, try to think back of yesterday when we lost them. <laughs> Betty's going to read them out to you. Yeah, and okay. Together, okay. you will form a single analyst. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, I mean, right, the, the, a common trend that we see from uh, Rogue is like an engaged top with something like the Orn is a very common blind pick that we often see from Odoamne. Volley Bear yep. and Viego are very common jungle picks that oh, we've been I seeing see recently. Oh, you see them? No, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, you... a lot of range supports, yeah. which is like not that common, I guess, for most teams. Um, I guess for Trimby, also, like, I didn't think he was a range support kind of player, but I mean, looks like tank jungle and tank top, and then range or like, yeah, double range bot lane seems to work for them really well. And of course, just like some scaling mid lane picks. And then, yeah, it's the recipe for success, I guess. But the thing that I think was pretty interesting about Rogue's drafts is that they almost always have, like, two winning lanes. It's something that I feel that they always try to uh, yeah. go for because it was just something that we saw a lot from Rogue last year where ideally they would try and get three winning lanes, but often you'll see that they either have a winning 2v2 bot or sometimes you will get that Gwen matchup from Odawamne because he knows that I can actually get the push in this matchup. So uh, yeah. it feels like that them trying to get those prior lanes are still important to them. Do you think this is a trend that they have continued and is common for Rogue or do you think this is just something that they're being given kind of freely a lot of? Hmm. I mean, I think they're kind of yeah, giving, getting it for free. I feel like um, teams don't really try to draft that good lanes into the range matches bot lane because, because usually they, I think they pick together, like both their bot lane, like they usually complete yeah. it early. And I think people could like pick counters that can be winning lanes into that. Or even for mid lane, I think they pick a lot of like Corky blind or like Victor blind. So people I think can in theory counteract that yeah. and get pushing lanes. I think just so far, they get away with it, and a lot of the times, yeah, the jungler is just uh, perma ganking. So even if they do have losing lanes, it turns into winning lanes if they get ganked, or like if the gank works. But if it doesn't work, I think it could be very sad for them. Yeah, it's fair. We'll have to find out if it works out today because they are going to be going up a jungler that you know very well. Uh, Yanko <laughs> well is going to be his 500th <laughs> game. Yeah, maybe too well. You can let us. I mean, you know, probably more about Yankos <laughs> than anyone else on this planet. So. <laughs> You'll let us know if that's too much. Of course, what are your thoughts on, on this jungle matchup specifically as Malrang has been that guy who, ooh, you can see very G2 favored here. Surprising given the rogue rate, What's your What are your thoughts on this jungle matchup? Malrang, obviously the super aggressive gank all the time jungler. Yankos has been, let's say, a little bit more flexible in his style. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's even a question. I think Yanko's going to get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> 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 I think so far he's been playing quite all right. I was kind of surprised. I, mean, I was hoping for like the Kiana meta, but unfortunately the champ got nerfed. But I was really hoping to see Kiana uh, by Yanko's. Unfortunately, he got away with like pinning other champions, so could actually be close if he doesn't have to. I can hear like, so much like repressed mechanics. anger now yeah. being unleashed, you know? It's like, I'm not on his team anymore, so I can just say what I think. And he's going against the Korean jungle, so he's going to lose, because I know exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think G2 has like a decent chance of winning against them in general. I think uh, bot is kind of even, I think topside, I think this is in G2's favor, but yeah, I'm not sure. I think Rogue are maybe better as a team and in draft, so yeah, I think maybe like 49% G2, 51% Rogue, oh, in my opinion. Pretty close. We'll no, that's good. It says, six, it says yeah, 60-40 behind us, though, Mickey. I'm just saying. I think the G2 fans. might just have the plot armor, so. G2 yeah. certainly have in the past had a lot of armor. Didn't do you a lot of good, but it seems <laughs> to be doing this season's G2 a little much better. Uh, yeah. Now, the fans seem to agree on the Yankos mid-season MVP. Of course, you can join the conversation with hashtag ping the lobby. <laughs> Uh, we know it's First Blood King Yankos, says Lexi. Um, hashtag ping the lobby. Mickey, midseason MVP, who, who's your front runner? If you had to pick an MVP right now at this point in the season, who would you actually look at? I mean, probably Marang. He's just getting like so much free stuff. And I don't know, no one, he, he's getting away with it for fun. And he's like getting a lot of wins for them as well. So, I mean, so far it would have to be him until he gets punished for it. Yeah. I get it yesterday with the Lighters gang, so you know, we are the first team to start the position. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I love the confidence be fanatic you, today. I love it. The, the Excel stocks are rising. I'm sweating a little bit, uh, to be completely honest. Cato and I have a wager on Euphoria, and then I may What's have to wager? Bet, I, I bet against Excel. There's a costume and a song involved. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey wasn't on the roster when I made the bet. It's very hard. <laughs> anyway, it's not about us. It's about this match between Rogue and G2. And we're only minutes away from getting into picks and bans for this top of the table clash. Rogue looking to find that first win to finally defeat G2 in a regular season match.